Happy Friday, everyone. How's everybody doing? Another winning week for Drew, 24 and 13 on the year, went 4 and 1 last week. If you want winning, you got to come here. Because Sports Stew and Drew is just hooking it up, man. Just paying the dollar bills, baby. Dollar, dollar bills. Anyways, you already see, you probably see Gerard Butler in my shirt, so you probably are guessing what is the first pick going to be? Well, shall we go and find out? All right, so my college picks last week, Clemson Tigers, you know, sad kitty, that was just terrible. But you know what? It doesn't matter who the coach of Michigan State is, Jim Harbaugh, Michigan State is Jim Harbaugh and the Wolverines' daddies. And the fact that I'm getting four points with a 7-0 Michigan State at home over the Spartans, because we're the Spartans over the Wolverines. So I'm going to take Michigan State plus four. Don't even think twice about it. Take the Spartans. You're getting four points. And take it home, baby. Take it home. Because I just can't wait to be king. So last week, I told y'all, Lions plus 16 and a half. And guess who was paying out? Drew, because Lions 16 and a half. I'm actually going to go on a limb and say, you can take the Lions at plus three and a half. That's what I'm going to do, because I like the little buffer just to make sure. But take the Lions money line plus 150 to get their first dub of the win over the Philadelphia Eagles of Philadelphia. My boy Jared Goff, Dan Campbell, going to be biting kneecaps and chewing and clawing leg holes and stuff. We're going to take the Detroit Lions of football. I ain't going to be the coach of USC. I got one of the best jobs in professional sports. I'm Mike Tomlin, blah, blah, blah. I'm standing up from the stand. I'm angry. Don't talk to me like that. How can you not love Mike Tomlin? He is the best. He just has great sound bites every week. He's always very clear in getting his message with his players and the media. There's a reason why the man has not had a losing season. And maybe I'm doubting old Big Ben Roethlisberger, you know, in his, you know, in his scooter, having to take a scooter to get to the stadium every week. But uh, banged up Baker's Mayfield. Baker's Mayfield. Might as well be called Baker's. Anyways, a banged up Baker Mayfield against that Steeler front seven. And I'm getting three and a half. Give me the Steelers all day. Really, that's all I have to say. This line, really? You're going to be like a seagull after this, being like, mine, 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 with all the money you're going to get from picking on the Seahawks, picking the Seahawks this game. I mean, Urban Meyer and the Jaguars, who are one of the worst-rated teams in the league against Seattle, is actually 10th in the ratings, even though they're 2-5, and because the Seahawks just, you know, Geno Smith just can't stop getting sacked with the game on the line. Well, guess what? In this game... My boy Gino is not going to have the game on the line because the Sea Chickens are going to have this game locked up nice and early. Come on, man. 20 losses in a row, and you're going to give the Jaguars only a three-point underdog at the 12th man? Give me the Hawks all day. I am the Walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. So far, I'm 2-0 on Picks of the Chiefs against the NFC East. Let's make it 3-0 because the Kansas City Chiefs are going to cover the minus 10 against the New York Giants because when a walrus is cornered, a walrus will attack. Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid. This is how they get right, baby. You know I'm going to win. I'm already 4-0, so on Monday night I'm just trying to go 5-0 just to have a perfect week. And guess who can win money? You can, if you just listen to Drew. Anyways, so yes, last week I was 4-1, 24-13 and on the season. You can follow me at DrewSports.com, find out more great content, see all my picks for the week, or you could also follow me on Twitter, it's Stu Drew. That's all for this week. We'll talk about how we won again on Monday. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful weekend.